Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shalia, also known as the Visionpreneur. I'm your passive income specialist and business strategist here to help you create and thrive in multiple streams of income because having multiple streams of income is the gateway to financial freedom. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create an activity page for kids using Canva. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. All right, let's get started. Creating activity pages for kids isn't just fun, it's also a fantastic way to engage young minds and even potentially develop a new stream of income. Whether you're a parent looking for personalized activities, a teacher needing unique materials for your class, or an entrepreneur wanting to tap into the educational market, Canva is an excellent tool for you. So before we start, remember that Canva's free templates and elements are for personal use or under their license terms for commercial use. So you can't just resell any templates that you find as is. You can use Canva's elements to create original designs. So if you wanna sell your designs commercially, you have commercially, you must modify Canva's default templates significantly to make them unique. So let's get started with Canva. So once you're in Canva, we're gonna go to create a design. So if you type in kids activity templates in the search bar, you're gonna find um, some activity pages that you can kind of gain inspiration from and begin to create your own. So just think about what kinds of things that you want to make the activity page about or the activity book, whatever you're creating, what you want to make it about. And then, you know, gain your inspiration from what has um, what has been created for the templates and think of your own. So we're going to go to create a template and we're going to do custom size and we're going to do make sure you change it to inches and then go to eight and a half by 11 and then click create design. So at the top, we're gonna just type in the name of our template, which is kids activity page. And then we're gonna get started with designing. So for the font, I'm gonna type in kids font and it's gonna give me a bunch of fonts that can be used. So like this cute ice cream font we can use for the title of our page. So we're going to, we're going to do accounting, counting animals. Okay. So let's make sure this is centered. I'm going to make it a little bit bolder and then we're going to start with our activity sheet. So if you want, you can add a border. So in the element section, just type in border and you can add a border to your page. So you can also create one with the lines, the lines tool in the elements section. So if you go to lines, you could create your own border um, like this. So just make sure it's straight. Then we can duplicate this add it to the other side and then make another line. And then we can duplicate that as well. And there we have our border and we can always change the color of our um, border. I'm going to make it blue because that's a pretty, that's a pretty color, pretty blue. So there we have our border, we have our title, and now we can start with the animals. So we are going to type in animals over here and click the graphics button. And I'm going to choose the lion. I'm going to make it smaller. Let's zoom this in a little bit. And then I'm going to duplicate the lion. And then we're going to center. So we're going to click these three dots, align elements, center, and they didn't do it. So let's just center it ourselves. Okay. So the object of this activity worksheet is so that 
the kids can count. So I'm gonna just type in, or I'm gonna add a text box giving them instructions. Count the animals and write the sum in the box. So we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and then I'm gonna make this um, bigger. I'm gonna make all the letters capitalized. So we're gonna need a line for the answer. So that's where they would write the answer. I'm gonna um, add a text box so that they know that's where the answer goes. Okay, so we have the lions. Now we're gonna go to our next animal. So we're gonna type in animals in the element section, go to graphics, and this time I think I'm gonna use a turtle. So let's scale the turtle down a little bit and we are going to space the turtle out. So we're gonna do four this time. Make sure it's centered and then copy and paste the line in the answer. So we're gonna copy that and then we're gonna drag it down so that we don't have to go too far or do too much. And then we're gonna do, let's do the elephant cause he's so cute. And we are going to make him a little smaller and we are going to make more of him. Okay, and then just let's make sure that it is centered and not so close to the, the last one. Okay, and then we're gonna copy and paste the answer line. Make sure it's centered. Okay, and then we have room for, it looks like one more animal. So I'm gonna choose this adorable panda bear. And we are going to put him right here. And then we're gonna copy him as well. Okay, and now he's done. Are these? So they weren't straight. So in order to make sure they're all in the same line, those are, I don't know if these were, they are, you would go, you would, you know, choose all of them. The pandas weren't. So you would choose all of them and then go to position and then you could click tidy up and make sure that they're straight. So we're going to copy this answer line. And then there you have your worksheet. So I don't really like how close the border is. So I'm gonna just bring it out a little bit. And then <clears throat> Okay, so that's a little bit better. So there we have our counting animals um, worksheet. And we're gonna create one more. So let's go back to our main page and just look and see um, what we can create. Hmm. Okay, so this one is going to be Let's go back to the sheet we had. This one's going to be a fun one. Okay, so this is gonna be circle and color the fruits and vegetables. And I really, I don't know what it is. I don't like this font. So we're gonna change this font to something else. So I have changed it to Bobby Jones and we are going to make it bigger and maybe use two lines instead of one so circle and color the fruits and vegetables so we're gonna give them some instructions and we're gonna say color the fruits in and circle all of the vegetables that you see 
so we're going to center this and we're going to change this font because i don't know what it is but i just don't like it okay so we're going to move that up and then we have we can start working on the page okay so we're going to go over to the element section and we are going to type in the fruits and vegetables so what i did was type in black and white fruits and i'm going to go to graphics so that we can use these for coloring so they're going to color the fruits in and circle the vegetables so this is a watermelon um, i'm going to do bananas Let's make sure these are the correct size because we don't want them to be the wrong size. We can do a strawberry. Make sure it's the right size. Okay. And then we can do Okay, so I'm going to type in and vegetables and see what it what it gives me um okay so here's some corn so this is a vegetable um we can do a pepper i keep in mind that the age group of the child it has to match the activities that you're that you're giving them so if if the age group is let's say two years old or three years old or four years old they may not recognize this as a pepper they may say like a pumpkin so um this wouldn't be geared toward um a younger child so if you want you can just use simple fruits and vegetables um i'm gonna take out fruits up here so black and white vegetables so a carrot would probably be more recognizable to a two or three year old so let's take this pepper out let's keep it let's let's keep it simple for this um this looks like broccoli um they may or may not be able to identify it so i'm trying i'm trying to center it okay and then we can have one more row um so let's do hmm so this does look like a pumpkin, so we'll just use this. Make it a little smaller. Make sure it's centered, and then we can do another fruit. Let's do grapes. Kids tend to recognize grapes pretty easily because they usually like to eat them. And then let's do did we do an apple yet? No, let's do an apple. Okay, so we got our fruits and we got our vegetables. So the object of the worksheet is to color in the fruits and circle all the vegetables. So there we have our second worksheet. So the first one was counting animals and the second one was circle and color the fruits and vegetables. So you can just use your imagination when it comes to creating these um, activity pages for the kids. Um, you could also, you know, create ones that are um, dear to their heart. So if you have, if they have a favorite character or something like Mario, or if they have a fa favorite character like, you know, Blippi or Cocomelon, you can incorporate those into your activity sheets as well. You just wouldn't be able to sell them. You would, you know, you could probably use those for your own children. But if you're selling them, then make sure that they are original designs. So keep in mind that Canva has tons of elements that you can use. You know, if you are using Canva Pro, you have a lot of elements at your disposal. But if you don't have Canva Pro and you want to try something else, um, because you know, like everyone's using Canva, um, there is a website called Creative Fabrica that you can use. And Creative Fabrica has tons of things as well that you can download and use for commercial use. So we're going to head on over to Creative Fabrica and just check out what they have. So this is Creative Fabrica. Um, just go to creativefabrica.com. They're very cheap. It's only $3.99 a month um, if you, you know, do it the yearly um, subscription model. I believe it's $9 a month for the non-yearly billing option. Um, 
I do have a link below this video that you can try Creative Fabrica for free for one month if you want to. Um, they have tons of fonts, they have graphics, they have, you know, just unlimited access to if you have a monthly subscription. So as you can see, they have like cute little animals, watercolor nursery animals. They have, you know, these skulls over here. They have like vintage farm um, images. They have these cute little bunnies, Easter clip art. So you can use all these in your designs if they have the, um, the stamp of approval, which is the commercial and full POD usage um, stamp. So these Easter bunnies, can be used for commercial use and full POD usage. So make sure when you're downloading um, your clip art or your, you know, whatever it is that you chose, make sure that they have this, you know, stamp commercial and full POD usage so that you can use them in your designs and, you know, there's no issues. Um, but like I said, Creative Fabrica has tons of things. Um, you can browse, you can search here. And um, I personally love this website. I do use it a lot for other businesses. So, um, you know, just look around and see what they have and see if there's anything that you may want to, you know, use for your um, your projects or, you know, whatever it is that you plan on creating. So, like I said, I have a link below. If you have any questions about how to use this, how to, you know, create any more worksheets, please let me know. I will be happy to answer the questions. Um, thank you for joining me in this creative journey. If you found value in this tutorial, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Share your own designs in the comments below and let's support each other in growing our passive income streams. Until next time, keep creating with vision, purpose, and integrity. I will see you in the next video.